Igzbozen is asking, what was Reza Shah Pahlavi's role in World War I? Um, Reza Shah Pahlavi's role, I don't know. I Wait, Reza Shah Pahlavi was mostly, wasn't he, the, his role in World War II, you mean? Yeah, the question. Yeah, I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I would, I would, I would, I would be able to answer it more if it was World War Two. Yeah. Um. Wait, wait. There's a shop Yeah, World War Two. Not no World War Two. Uh, World War in World War Two, his role was to be treated like a nobody and like wait. Uh. Yeah, and be pressured to, because he took the side. Reza Shah took the side of Adolf H, technically, but, and the allies- Technically. <laughs> yeah, and the allies didn't like that. And that's why, I, that's kind of why they removed him and replaced them with his son. But, but I don't know much about his role in World War One. I. I mean, was he? No, they, the they meant World War Two. Oh, okay. So- Reza Shah's Pahlavi role in World War One was that they were officially on the books. They were like, he was like, we are neutral. Okay. But he was, he was working with the Germans. Like he was allies with the Germans. He was also, they, they exchanged like some gifts or something like, I think uh, Adolf H was a, by the way, the reason why I'm saying Adolf H because I don't want to say a person's last name because you to be sensitive, right? But I, I, I think they also sent him like a letter of like admiration or something like that, right? The problem is that um, a lot of people think that Adolf H was like the leader of Aryans in Europe and Iran, meaning the land of Aryans itself, could like, Iran is like, for Reza Shah, could have been seen as a leader of Aryans in the East. Like there was some ethnic, you know, affiliation affiliation here as well. I'm not sure if that how important that was, but this is something people say. I'm not claiming that, right? Uh, but just playing, it, Reza Shah just playing footsies with the Nazis, playing footsies with the Nazis. Oh. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I thought we it's just YouTube. Said, yeah, I think I thought like we're saying this one now. We're just not saying Adolf H anymore. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that was enough for him for the allies to be like, okay, you're gone. Okay. Um, it's very interesting because the the reason why his son Muhammad Reza Shah was technically lost support by Westerners, right? And like eventually led to the revolution was also because they were technically worried about the um, him not being able to fight back against the commies, you know what I mean? I mean, actually, like, actually, actually the coup that the, the coup that they did in Iran as well, like, the, okay, so the support for the mullahs was mostly a fear for of the commies taking back taking power but also bringing supporting his son supporting and eventually losing support for muhammad reza shah was always also a play on the commies right so during world war ii his, the issue with his father was like you're working with our enemies but with his son also and the enemies of his son also there was also you know the western powers the main criteria was also who's who's the best against our enemies who's the best people that we could have in charge against the commies so but also there was a there is a very there's a there's a picture i don't know if I, if you want me to find it and show it to you right now there's a uh, when they remove reza shah and then eventually they put muhammad reza shah in power there was a time where the allies um, come, came to Iran and basically took over um, and Iran, right? And they don't, they didn't even, they just walked through Iran as if it's their own country and they didn't even meet with the Shah, right? Um, like they didn't like the Shah, like they, they were, they had such low regards for him that they didn't even bother meeting with him. It was just a meeting between the, the Americans and the British and the Russians. Oh, damn. In, Te in Tehran, 
by by completely ignoring the Shah of the the Shah, right? And there's a picture of them meeting with each other, and that's that picture of the three together is a picture considered a picture of humiliation for Iranians. Like okay. this is how they treated us, right? And that picture of the three of them sitting next to each other recently, when the British and the uh, Russians um, were in Iran, when in Iran, they t retook that picture and they set, saved an empty seat for the Americans. Like there was three seats, and and a lot of Iranians were like so offended by like, why are you recreating this picture? Like this was a picture of humiliation, and you're still after all these years, you're treating us the same way. But anyways, so there's that. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.